It's like a snuff film ASMR. Welcome to Random Horror Games. Today, we will be playing Artificial. Let us begin. London, 1886. In the midst of the Industrial Revolution, Justice Vanacott, a brilliant scientist and inventor ahead of his time, is obsessed with creating a machine. The machine. Justice doesn't know very well uh, why he should create it, or what its purpose is. He simply feels the need to create it, but the most disturbing thing is that the machine needs fuel to run. And that fuel is very expensive to get. And the machine asks for human beings. Justice must focus all his efforts on creating the machine, so he has no choice but to hire a ruthless killer named the Nipper to get him the precious fuel the machine demands. Why would you make a machine that requires, you know what, whatever. Oh, OBS does not like this game. Oh no! Oh no! That's interesting. Let's see if we can adjust. Alright, I think that fixed it. Okay, that's interesting. Um... Guess this is our study? All nice and London-y. Random shit. Uh... We got our, uh, viewfinder. If you look in and click the little screen, you'll see the national parks and their glorious 3D. Uh, got our dirty dishes. Mr. Nipper's work. Nopper's? Wait, what's his name? Mr. Nopier's work marked on the map of London. Oh. Oh, so this is where he patrols. That's interesting. A little hard to see. What do we got here? My bed? And, uh... Book of Nothing! My god. Oh, here we go. November 14th, 1886. One unpleasant November night, I contemplate the end of my efforts. When anxiety boarding on agony, I placed myself in front of the instruments that would allow me to breathe life into the inert thing before me. It was one o'clock at night, the rain was pounding on the windows, and the shadows casting by the gas lamps were creating a ghostly atmosphere. When I activated the switch, a thunderous noise invaded the chamber. It was waking up. It was alive. We made Frankenstein! Or a machine that ate people. Our engine. Oh, shit. Kinda. A little less roofing there. Well then. That's why you don't build your house underneath the, uh, the railroad tracks. Anyway. Morse code? Aw, shit. Are we gonna do a most Morse code, uh... Again, puzzle. I hate those so much because I can't. I can't hear Morse code. Like, I know there's like the pauses and the beeps and all that stuff. Don't get me wrong. I know how it works, but I've never been able to properly hear the number of beeps and shit, like ever. Even when I try really hard to focus. November twenty sixth, eighteen eighty six. How can I express my feelings in the face of this catastrophe, or describe the monster that, with so much effort and infinite work I had created, its gears were all lubricated and I have carefully selected every piece of metal, every nut, to fit perfectly. My god! I was not aware of my delirium until it was too late. What was I trying to do? Why create that monstrosity? So many lives sacrificed, but the voices, those voices forced me. It wasn't my fault. Now the beast is alive and roars hungrily, but it won't be me who feeds it, not anymore. I put an end to this nightmare, and I just hope that whoever finds my creation doesn't go crazy like me and destroys that damn machine. Okay. Well, if you had to see the machine, I think. That or the modern-ish looking engine down below, is it? 
Uh, I, to open it, I need the lever. Lever. Shit. Um. Okay. Uh, lever. Nope. Lever. I right, crouch. Lever. Got our whiskey and gears. Jack shit without your booze and gears. A distillery. Why do we need a machine to do shit? We got a distillery. We're all set for life now. Metal, oil, and change. These are the entail entrails of the machine. Cool. Need a key. What is this? Uh, an old chest. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Uh. Oh, it's Morse code! That's dumb! Okay. Not as a puzzle, but as an actual device. <laughs> Mr. Napier, I appreciate your invaluable help and your discretion. I have been very satisfied with your work, but I will no longer need your services. Please pick up your last payment at the usual place, and I remind you that you should not tell anyone about our project, or else your face will appear in all the London newspapers. I hope you understand my position. Once again, thank you. Okay. So we, we finished our uh, business association with uh, the Nipper. Yep. Those are gears. Totally. Huh. Murder in the East End! Capture of leather apron? Dreadful mutilation of a woman! Okay. Famous crimes. The discovery of Nipper's first murder! God. It's sensationalist for a real murder. You guys know the petty dreadfuls were not real, right? Hmm. Morse code. Okay, so that's we got one of the Morse codes. Three dots and a dash. Three dots and a dash. Let's see if that translates to something important. So V. What's our last name, Victor? I don't know. So V. Three dots and a dash. That might not be the first letter though. Oh, here we go. A dash and four dots. Maybe it's just B. B, B? Uh. Oh, wait, no, 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 it's six. B, six. Oh, here we go. Uh, four, da four dots and a dash. Just four. V, 64? A question mark? Either way, um, three dots and a dash, uh, dash and four dots, four dots and a dash. There's no way I can remember this. Ah! Um, hmm. I might just guess the last one then. Is obviously a misunderstood one. Eventually. The oh, fuck. Okay, so my problem was is that I kept uh, pressing it too quickly, so that when I guess the the non-guessed one, the 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 unknown one, it kept uh. Changing too quickly? 
Does that make sense? Like, it, I, I didn't give it enough time for it to read that I did it correctly and open up. So I've actually gone over the correct answer several times. Oh, so many opinions. All right, let's open this damn thing. What do we got? A key! Take the key. All right, get the, put that put that away. I found the cabinet key. All right. Unlock the cabinet key. Use that. Um. It's the little doohickey. It's the rusty lever. It's not a lever. That's a crank. What do you call that? It's not a lever though. Lever is you know the thing that you use leverage to open with. Oh god. Hello, Amnesia Dark Descent. Um, oh, shit. Thanks for playing! Oh, cool. This experience was created by one person in a few days for the Scream Machine Jam, so you can find the glitches while playing, and, uh, there's just some credits. Ooh. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed it. It was a nice little, uh, little few minutes. Um, felt like a mist kind of area or game or something like that. And I, and I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, so onward to the next game. Woo! Hello, and welcome to the next game, Seven Days. This was made by the same guy who made the last game, and the same guy who, I believe, is making, uh, the last game, like, the game after this one. Both last, both definitions of last in this regard, uh, games were also made by the same guy. All these games were made by the same guy. Yes. Anyway, welcome to Seven Days. A very short and experimental horror experience created by one person in a few days for Scream Empire Jam 2019. Content warning. This experience contains weirdness, dismemberment, gore, body horror, and unpleasant atmosphere. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry. <laughs> I get that trigger warnings are a thing a lot of people need. I'm not one of them, though. So when it's like, unpleasant atmosphere, I'm like, well, yeah, it's a horror game. Did you expect it to be pleasant? Anyway, uh, let us begin proper. Seven days. Ooh. Day one. Oh, geez, this is not well optimized for my setup. I don't know if it's me or them. Ah, oh, I get it. We're, um, Ooh. Crunch. Ooh. So we're in a torture dungeon, and that lady just died. I don't know if- are we gonna die now? Hey, yo, there's no toilet in here! Day four without a toilet. Okay, so this is my shitting corner. I'm just not gonna look at it. Yo! Well, that meat is holding up surprisingly well. It's like a snuff film ASMR. You know what I mean? You know, something similar to that. Uh, I think Guro is what it's called when it's sexualized, so... Guro ASMR? Fuck if I know. 
Day seven. Is it our turn? Ooh, it's all delicious. Hmm. Is it going after our legs here? Like, it won't let me look. <laughs> I assume giving the look that he's just holding our legs and, and chopping our stomach? I don't know. Thanks for playing! The short experience was made by one person a few days. Oh, wait, we already read that. Uh, and there's the music. And that was the game. It just hard quit on me. So, uh, onward. Uh, that was interesting. Um, you know, five minutes of crunchy ASMR. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, onward to the next game. Boop. Welcome to Dreadwoods. Something is hunting in the woods. Now I'm warning you now that uh, OBS does not like this game. So uh, it looks a bit choppier than it is an actual person. I apologize for that. Um, but if I lower the quality of the settings anymore, I feel that'll be an injustice to the game itself. This very short experience was made by one person for a few days for Haunted Hunting Jam 2020 for fun. You can find bugs and glitches while playing. Story. The year is 1347. In the midst of a turbulent and chaotic time when the Black Death is wiping out almost the entire population of Eurasia, Several villages in central Scandinavia have been attacked and massacred in an inhuman way. The governor of the area has no choice but to call Clarence, a hunter-slash-investigator with unorthodox methods for, for the time and a strong belief in the supernatural, to find out what is happening on his land. When Clarence arrives at one of the villages, the inhabitants have left, abandoning their houses and part of their belongings. While exploring the village, a creature attacks him and takes him to his food pit to eat later. Clarence must escape before the creature returns and kills him. Yeah, sounds really interesting. So let us begin. The governor's explanations were quite confusing. I could see fear and concern on his face. So I went to the first village in the area to start my investigation. But I didn't find anyone. The villagers had apparently fled, leaving their home and belongings behind. They must have been desperate to do such a thing. I started to explore the village, but suddenly I heard a chilling sound that came from deep within the forest around me. It wasn't animal, and it wasn't human either. I had heard every- I had never heard anything like that. I heard that horrible sound again, this time closer. It seemed like he was lurking until I could see it in the distance among the trees of a thick forest. The darkness of the night didn't let me distinguish whether it was human or animal, but I could feel its eyes fixing on me like a hunter stalking his prey. Without realizing it attacked me, and without time to defend myself, it hit me repeatedly until I lost consciousness. I thought that was the end of me. Nope. Oh. On dark and spooky. Oh, that's lovely. It's quite lovely. I like what you did with the place. Lots of red. I'm gonna put some on the walls, too, to kind of equal it out a little. But that might be too red in hindsight. Ooh. Pretty out. A nice little, little place here for a monster. Yeah. Probably watch where I'm going. Oh, uh, prone. That's a thing. Let me just shimmy on in here. I've been called, this is called going prone, but I've always called it crawling on my stomach. <laughs> and apparently that is not good enough uh, way to describe it for some people. Blood. I hope this is not Chris's blood. No. Ooh, lots of jello in here. Oh, wow, you're messy. So 
ideally that's the way out, so I'm gonna go this way. That's less the way out, so I'm gonna go this way continuously. If there's one thing they do nail, it's atmosphere. Like, say what you want about Skyrim, uh, type caves and all that. They usually don't take advantage of the atmosphere they got going on. This does. This is if a Skyrim cave took advantage of its atmosphere and fully went all the way. I can't tell if I'm crouched or prone or what. I'm pressing both buttons and nothing's happening. Oh shit, the way out! Oh yeah! I didn't- I should- maybe I should go the other way just in case to make sure. This is disturbing, uh, short experience person- oh yeah, okay. Uh... If there's something to show, uh, I'm going to cut to that. If not, I'll cut straight to me saying goodbye. Game doesn't crash! Okay, never mind. The game decided to die on me, so, uh... <laughs> uh and it refuses to come back up. It keeps crashing whenever I try to bring it back up. So, I don't know. I don't think that was designed on purpose. Something must have happened. Uh, either way, thank you. Uh, I actually- I did enjoy it. Um, it was a nice little experience. Uh, I kind of wish I could have gone the other direction, but it decided to hard quit and then hard crash, so... Eh, and I can't get it back up. But uh, I don't... So there's bugs. Let me put it that way. There's bugs. I don't I don't even think it was supposed to hard quit. I think it I think it just gave up. <laughs> Either way, uh really cool, really awesome that was made in only a few days. Um I did really enjoy the atmosphere. Um if sorry if going the other way gives you the monster cuz um it wouldn't it wouldn't open up again. I I tried. Um but either way, uh, thank you so much for making this, and I enjoyed it. As for everyone else, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, please uh, join me next time. I love you, and bye bye